Man, I'm really pissed right now. Welcome to Picking and Punching. I am the scoundrel Rod Grimes. I'm an independent professional wrestler. I'm also a modern day treasure hunter. And today, we got another mystery box for you to open up. But this is not just any type of mystery box. This is a follow-up from the $900 Dorkery's mystery box. I actually got an RGAF book that had um, Stan Lee and a couple other RGAFs on it. We sent it off to CBCS to be graded and verified. And today's the uh, opening. Now, I have no idea what the grade is on this. I uh, literally just got this in the mail today. I haven't looked online. I've been getting updates online with it. I spent $900 on this mystery box. And one of the books I got was The Death of Wolverine. Had four autographs on it. Um, it had an estimated value of $600. I sent that off to CBCS to be graded and verified. They charged $25 for the first signature and $15 for each additional signature. And I, I actually paid the extra like 30 bucks to have this uh, two day grading and verified. So I'm quite interested to see what's gonna happen here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really nervous on this one. So, wish me the best of luck. Uh, the Dorkeries did guarantee that it will pass verification. So let's see what happens. Let's see it here. What the hell? What the freak? What the hell? It's not a slab. You gotta be freaking kidding me right now. Is this not past verification? My receipt, my address, everything on there. I, I don't understand, like. Bad signature. What the hell? I'm, I'm. I can't freaking believe this, all right? It actually says bad signature on it. Right there. I don't know if you've seen the top, top corner right here. Bad signature. It didn't pass verification. So the signature's not good. So this had an estimated value of $600. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty freaking angry right now. So I spent $120 for the verification, and then I was supposed to spend a total of, and to have it graded, and post cost me $144. I, I don't know what to say. Like I just spent $900 on a freaking mystery box, and this is what happened. All right, so. Man, I'm really pissed right now. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to contact the Dorkeries. I'm gonna give them a chance to make this right. You know, they said it's guaranteed to pass. Now, not only am I out the $900 box, the $600 book, now I'm at another $140 plus $29 for shipping. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, so you guys just saw me do that unboxing. It's about a, almost two weeks later now. I had some time to digest everything and I wanna dig down deeper and what happened. So as you saw, I bought a $900 mystery box from the Dorkeries. Um, you know, some of the, five of the 10 boxes had signature books in them. 
and I got a Stan Lee book with three other signatures. As you saw in the video, it came back as bad signatures. Now, can I give you guys a breakdown of all the money I spent? I spent $900 on this box. I spent $50 in the grading process to CBCS. Um, it was $25 for the first signature to be verified, $15 for each additional, and then taxes and fees. That cost me $144. Um, I then paid $29 to FedEx to ship and insure that book to CBCS. Because the book came back as bad signatures, CBCS did not grade the book, so they ended up issuing me a refund of 50 bucks. So at this point, I'm out $900 for the box and $123 cash. So I was not happy, okay? So what first thing I did was I jumped on Instagram and I sent the dorkies a message uh, right after that video, and I'm gonna go through that process with you. Now, this is what the message said. Hey guys, we got a big issue with this $900 box I bought from you. I sent my book off the of CBCS to be verified. It came back bad signature. They could not verify the signatures. I spent $29 on shipping insurance to book to them, $144 in the process of grading and verification, as I just mentioned. And they end up refunding me $50 back. Now I'm at $123 plus this mystery box. And I sent a bunch of pictures of all the proof of all that, the book, the bad signature, my copy of my receipt from FedEx and from CBCS. I said, I know you guys guarantee the box. I wanna reach out to you first to see how we can make this right. Now, here's the thing. I'm not here to throw anyone on the bus or anything like that. I'm a small time business owner. I've been selling on eBay for over 20 years. I have over 10,000 transactions on there. One of the things that upsets me the most is if, a, if one of my customers has an issue, reach out to me first and let me try to make it right. I wanna give the dork readers the same opportunity to make things right on this one. So they said, hi, RJ. Of course, we will refund the money for the value of the book. What was the value list in the back of the book? Okay, they had a $600 value list on the back of the book. Okay, we can refund that amount, but we respectfully ask that you wait until after Christmas. Now, at this point, it was December 19th, which was about six days before Christmas, okay? I may be a scoundrel, but I'm no Grinch. And I don't know their situation. I don't know if they spent the money, they have kids, you know, they have family. So at that point in time, I wasn't happy, but I will let it slide. They can pay me after Christmas, that's fine. Because they only said they're gonna refund me the book. I said, okay, will you be refunding me the CB, CBCS fees? Since you said that the, you guaranteed that the book would pass CBCS process. Their response was, if we refund the grading fees, we would like to ask for the book back. You know, at this point in time, that book has no value to me it came back bad signature, okay? Um, they can have the book back, that's fine with me. So I responded back to them. I'm fine with that. If I can't have it verified, there's no value to me. If you'd like to send me a shipping label, I can mail it back to you. I'm literally at $123 plus the $600 book. You can understand my frustration with this process. All right, his response was, yep, we were told the same thing. We will have to go through the same process the seller we got it from. Then he said, I also ask you to keep this in confidence. This part kind of, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And let me tell you why. You're doing a mystery box online. You have 10 big boxes, all for $900 a piece. And five of those boxes were coming with a Stan Lee signature in there. So I'm not gonna lie, I found that to be slightly I found it to be slightly weird that he asked me to keep it in confidence, but I'm sure he probably didn't want me to, he probably thought that it would hurt the mystery box in the future or maybe his YouTube channel. So I can understand that. You know, on this channel, I try to show full transparency with everything I do. And I wanted to come across and be honest, I show you the good with the bad for my yard sale, my thrifting, my eBay sales. You know, if I make a bad purchase, I tell you. I'm 100% honest on, you know, where everything I do and show full transparency. And I did the same thing with him. As you can see, I said, to be honest with you, we filmed this for an unboxing. Before I post the video up, I wanted to reach out to you to try to give you a chance to make things right. I would never post the video online and try to throw them under the bus without giving them a chance to make it right. So I was trying to do the right thing. His response was, then don't post the video. Now, I debated going back and forth if I should post this 
unboxing video up. And it wasn't until I started talking to a, you know, a few people, I was fine maybe not posting it up because the last thing I wanna do is hurt another small business or, I mean, they do this for fun, I get that. And then people started asking, well, what about the other people that have signature books? Did the dorkeries reach out to them? You know, do they not want this video going online because maybe they will have to refund those other books? And, you know, if the shoe was on the other foot and one of the other people that got a box and got a bad signature on there and I didn't know about it, I'd be upset. So I think it's right that I post this video up for the other people that maybe that haven't sent their book off. I mean, the verification process, the grading process, it can be expensive. So I think I'm doing the right thing by posting this up so people can see. And that's why I said, listen, we're not trying to make you look bad or anything. We just filmed our last unboxing saying that we sent this off. We have people waiting to see this video. You know, we got a bad book. We contacted you guys. We gave you guys the opportunity to make it right. We'll, and I'll include this on this video. You know, I'll include the outcome of what's happening. That's why we're talking right now. Mistakes happen. At the end of the day, you guys are going to make this right. You told me you're going to refund me. What is the big issue then? His response was, you do what you feel you need to do. I just feel like this is a private matter and does not need to be discussed. We'll have the uh, $723 to you next week along with a shipping label. Sorry for this happened to both of us. So yes, it is a private matter, but the same point in time is if you're selling mystery boxes online and signatures are bad and there's four other people that got these boxes, those other, those other guys should know about this. That's the issue I have. And, and if you disagree with me, you disagree with me. You know, I think I'm doing what's right not only for the community, but also for, you know, everyone else out there that's, that might buy books in the future. You know, you want to make sure you're getting books that are proper. You want to make sure you're getting books that are verified. They say what they are saying. And if you don't, you guarantee, then take care of that. And you have not every opportunity to take care of it. And I think the biggest issue I have is how this was handled. You, know, you guys have to remember, this is my first time buying from them. First time buyer. And if I had a first time buyer that just spent $900 with me and had a messed up situation like this, they would be refunded on the spot for the fees and for that book. At that point in time, I would send them a shipping label. I would also send them off a little package or something just to make up for the situation. You know, keep them happy because you want them to come back buying the future. Now, I told them all I wanted was my refund for this. I didn't ask for anything extra, okay, at this point in time. But, the fact that you're making me wait even longer now is frustrating. So let's fast forward. That was the 19th, which was Monday. I contacted him the following Monday, the 27th, two days after Christmas. I said, hey, just want to follow up with you. Um, want to see when it, I will, you know, will be receiving my refund. Just want to be able to look out for it. They said, you'll get it no later than Thursday. So now I have to wait additional three days to get my refund, which is, it is what it is. And at that point in time, now they did contact me. I will say they were, they kept to the word. They did contact me on Thursday. They actually reached out to me. They said that I just want to confirm your PayPal address. They did send me a $723 as a refund. So I give them, you know, I give them props for that. You know, they did keep their word. They did send me a shipping label. So I did, I was able to get that book in the mail to get it sent back to them. It just, it's just a horrible situation how this went down. Um, you know, the whole purpose about buying a mystery box is trying to get that big hit. And when you offer big hits and this is what happened, it's very disappointing. It's very frustrating. I would literally want to get up and punch a hole in my wall. I was so, so pissed off at this moment. You know, I was really upset with the situation. I'm better now, I got my got my money back. I took that money, I used it for another mystery box, which I'll do another unboxing here in the future. But at the end of the day, you know, this could be handled a lot differently. And um, would I buy from the Dorkies again in the future? At this point, probably not. All right, another follow-up. I figured I'd reach out to, there was two other YouTubers on YouTube that actually bought the mystery boxes as well and got autograph books. So I did reach out to them to see if the, possibly the Dorkery's contacting them and you know, let them know that, hey, maybe your books are potentially bad. And uh, when they did, both of them did respond to me. 
and they said that they were never contacted to be aware that, hey, you may have bad books. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, the situation could have been handled 10 times better. I would have contacted everyone that bought, you know, you sold 10 mystery boxes. I would have contacted all 10 of those people that to know, hey, did you get any Argaf books in your box? Let me know if you have any issues to try to get ahead of the problem. But the fact that they wanted me to keep this quiet and now you didn't tell those other buyers from you that they could potentially have a bad book. I mean, in my book, that's bad business. Guys, thank you guys for watching. I hate posting videos like this up, but thank you guys for staying here. Thank you for the support. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Until next time.